Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to tame the Ghost Saber in World of Warcraft Classic. And this guy is located up in the ruins of Mathistra in Darkshore. And if you're in Eastern Kingdoms, you want to take uh, the boats in Minithil Harbor in Wetlands. So that would be to the west. And from there, once you take the boat, it'll bring you to the dock here in Arberdyne. Arberdyne in Darkshore and then you just want to head north take that path up all the way and you want to be at level 20 because there's a bunch of Nagas in this area there's two types there's one that's a melee and that will rush you and drop you to your ass and then the next one is a sorceress and you want to be at level 20 make sure your you know skills are up uh, my sword and axe were not up and I was dying constantly so I had to go kill a bunch of bears and stuff to bring that up and make sure you have enough items you want to make sure you have <clears throat> mana you want to make sure you have food so when you lose health when you're going against these guys you can regain that very quickly and make sure your items also are repaired because I went in here uh, not repairing after a dungeon and that was a big mistake and the walk back to Aberdyne is a pretty big one and when you die you'll spawn here in Bashal Aran <clears throat> and that alone is just it's painful and you want to be very careful not to die because that would be a nightmare and I died so many times so this guy is not a spirit beast but to me he technically is because he spawns as the ghost saber and he looks like a spirit beast but he doesn't have any like special abilities the only thing I saw was that he had the move claw which is pretty cool and he has this really awesome look to him and I just love this cat so big shout out to my friend Caleb who showed me this a long time ago back when we were playing Legion he was like this really cool pet very rare back in vanilla and <clears throat> Playing as a night elf, I remembered that he showed me this pet. There's actually two rare pets in Darkshore, and this is one of them. This is probably the hardest one. Well, the, the blue strider might be difficult, but this one is very difficult because you have to click on these figurines that are scattered throughout the ruins, and there's just a bunch of nagas everywhere, so you have to be very careful. And please be at level 20. I can't stress that enough because this guy does spawn at 19, level 19. And if you're at 18, it won't work. And that's what I was doing. Level 18 trying to get this guy. So desperate. But you have to get your level up to 20. And then you'll be able to tame him fairly quickly. And he does a lot of damage. So you, you got to keep that in mind too. Um, anyways, make sure you have meat available for your cat once you get him. So you can start feeding him. So you have that... Um, that happiness all the way up to content at least so he doesn't run away on you and these figurines are scattered throughout the uh, the ruins and the the rate of spawning him is like I don't know it's almost like a 20 to 30 percent chance I've done so many of these figurines and I've only popped them out like I worked about five hours and got them to spawn like five or no like three three four times and the reason why I was continuing to grab him is because this guy is also very unique because just the fact that he drops a very unique item which is the glowing cat figurine and this drop rate is about 60 50 to 60 percent I've killed a few and I didn't get it and I looked on Wowhead and it said it was about 60 percent chance so what this does it summons a ghost saber to fight for you for 10 minutes so you literally have two you have like two pets out which is great and this item will work for any like race or any whatever like you could be a mage and get this which is pretty cool but it's a one-time deal that's the downfall so if you wanted to get it again you would have to grind out this whole th you know looking for the figures and just getting the spawn so that item is very uh, very difficult to get if you're at a low level but it's just a grind it's not difficult it's just you gotta put in the hours right it's not gonna be like a walk in the park you're gonna have to grind it out and that's what I love about classic 
Uh, so, I forgot to show you a few spawn points here. And I just wanted to make clear on a few things just to keep in mind because I did do this for a long time. I, I, uh, I think I spent a total of 8 hours just being in this area. So, just please be careful. Here's one spawn point. And on Wowhead, they'll have all the coordinates. Uh, it's pretty damn close to what they have there. But I'll show you anyways all the spawn points that I've been uh, seeing them at. So here's one. I usually don't go in here. There are, there are a few. There's one in this little one and then one in the big one. But I never had luck getting it to spawn there. I've always had luck on this side. So I'm actually headed on the west side of the ruins. Which is a lot more open, and you have a lot more, uh, you know, you have a good a view of where things you're at, and they're not like clustered up all these uh, nagas. So there's one here in this area. Now this guy, he is a melee, so he'll rush you right away and start fighting you, and the sorceress should just start throwing like these ice bolts or whatever. And I love this pet so much. It's just so unique, so cool to get started. You know, I, I barely just got done with the quest in Darkshore. And I'm so excited to use this guy and just show him off. Here's a chest. And one spawns here also. I think here. I'm not going to go for the chest because it's just not worth it right now. I'm going to try to do as quickly as possible. And you can always kill these hawk or not hawk strider, these four striders to get the meat to drop. And you can feed them that also. And these nagas are these uh, storm scale, whatever you want to call them, the myrmidons. They will drop a like this barnacle clamshell or something like that. And they always will have the. Uh, the clam meat in it so you can stock up on those here's a figurine here's one spawn point there's another right here there's one in this area and also up behind that tree there's two more so this is a really good spot to just keep farming back and forth uh, on the other side on the east side there's more high level ones like at level 20 21 these are 19 18 these are manageable at level 20 but just be careful not to pull another because you will die you're, you're only going to be at level 20 by yourself so the bow is not going to work with these guys with the sorceress it's going to be easy to kill her because you have the bow and she won't like attack you right away but anyways let's click on this guy this is how the figurines look and every time you click on this he's going to open it up and then you'll pick up the cat figurine which is worth some some copper so you know after your whole run I got like several stacks of them so I'm gonna get some good silver out of them which is great which is what I need because I spent a lot of you see what I mean you gotta be very careful so if you're fighting one try to get them away from the other guys because they do do this annoying thing where they run away in fear and they can pull you can pull another guy and it's just so irritating and I just kept dying and dying and hopefully this guide can help you guys get this pet quick so here's how it looks you click on him here you have the cat figuring once you grab him the cat will spawn right in front of you now this time it didn't obviously you just gotta keep just keep going don't waste time he will spawn right away you're not gonna see you're, you're not gonna like wait for him to come he's gonna spawn as soon as you pick up that figurine so we're gonna deal with her real quick i just wanted to apologize guys that i wasn't very clear with the spawn points i was trying to use my mouse pointer to show the actual area but for some reason the software that i'm using doesn't record my mouse pointer for some really stupid reason i don't know why but when you're going in that area that i'm showing you try your best to use your pointer to kind of hover around different little white areas and just keep in 
close eye open because these guys are very small and very hard to miss so just keep that in mind all right so we're gonna move on to this area and there's two spawn points one behind this tree right right here there's actually th four one here one behind this rock and I'm gonna try not to pull anything so I want to get this less than 20 minute video But I just wanted to take my time and make sure that I covered everything so you guys understand how to do this because there is no video out there for Classic right now. So I had a hard time trying to do this and I didn't want to see any videos from like seven years ago because um, it's just not the same. Okay, so there's going to be one here. This guy's at level 21 or which one is it? Okay, so they're all level 20 she's 19 but throughout this area there's quite a few also there's let's see one two three four five six seven there's seven spawn points up in this area so there you go i'll try to get a clip of me actually killing it i don't i'm not sure if i'm gonna have one for taming because I, I i think i'm i screwed that video up or i deleted it too soon but I hope you enjoyed this guide and I hope it was helpful. That was my goal to help you guys with this awesome pet. So any questions, please comment below and try to get back to you as soon as possible. Let me know how I did. Maybe I could do a better job, but I just wanted to do something really quickly so you guys could possibly get this awesome pet. So take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.